guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin, and today I have a very interesting video planned for today. Um, I've seen a lot of other content creators do this, and if you know me personally, you know that I go through phases like I am paid to do so. I pick up different hobbies and interests and I actually make it my whole personality. So today we are going to be rating the different phases that I have gone through in my life thus far. So we have five different categories that these can go to. We have slay phase at the top. We love it. It's good. It's not a terrible phase to go through. It's something. It's not good or bad. It just is what it is. Then we have girl no. And then <laughs> we have we literally do not claim her. These are like my worst of the worst phases, the embarrassing ones, the ones that if someone showed me one of these pictures in public and asked me if it was me, I probably would deny it. So we have a lot of ground to cover today. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have my Twilight phase. <laughs> I was obsessed with Twilight um, in elementary school. My mom was super into like, supernatural shows and movies and stuff like that so I quickly picked up that interest but I was obsessed with Alice Cullen I wanted to be her but I also was like in love with her so I decided to make my entire look surrounded around her so here I'm wearing her necklace I have a t-shirt with Alice on it and actually I went to my hairstylist and I asked her for Alice's haircut and my hairstylist was like girl we literally cannot get your hair to look like that because one this is a movie her hair styled every single day and two you have you have straight hair like you have completely straight hair there's no way that this is gonna spike out the way that hers did and I was just like I don't care it'll look like it I, I can I can make it work it's good it's, no it started growing out and I kid you not I looked like the Taco Bell logo but with all that being said I kind of feel like it's a cute phase um the fact that I was obsessed with Twilight at such a young age and people are still obsessed with Twilight, including me, um, I give it a slay. She was cute. She was reading these big vampire books in elementary school, then going to the theater to see them fangirling. Ultimate, ultimate fangirl from the very start of my life, honestly. Speaking of my hair growing out, uh, this is what it started to look like, literally. I was coconut head. I was turning into coconut head. This was my skeleton animals phase, I think that's what they're called. I was obsessed with these things. I had stuffed animals of them, I had outfits of them, like if you can see in this picture I'm wearing the t-shirt and the jacket. I probably had like matching sweatpants on. There's not much to touch on about this phase. It's it's something. It's because the hair, the hair is what throws this face. Because it would have been cute if I didn't actually have like a bowl cut. Um, anyways, welcome to my odd future phase. This is probably the worst I've ever looked in my entire life. I mean, can we take a moment just to look at the eyeliner here? I was wearing this eyeliner anytime I did anything and I thought it looked good. I was wearing it so often that people were like, oh my gosh, that's your like signature eyeliner look. But nobody wanted to tell me that it looked bad. Also, the best part about this picture is me in the reflection. I was also at this time making that face. I don't even know if I can still make. My nose is literally twitching from trying to do that face. I feel like my music taste was cool at the time, but I'm still really embarrassed about it. So we're gonna put it in girl no. I think this is the most relatable phase um, that I've gone through that uh, actually the whole collective of the world went through uh, during 2014. But uh, my 2014 Tumblr phase, I was obsessed with One Direction like everybody else at the time. I was reading Wattpad fan fictions. I was also obsessed with Five Sauce. I was on Tumblr day and night. I mean, I was reposting those like black and white photos. It was, it was the craziest era. I have such positive and negative memories from this time. I feel like this era shaped me into the fandom lover that I am today. I feel like everybody went through a 2014 Tumblr phase. That, that was a cultural reset, I won't lie. We're gonna put it at it's something. It's so split down the middle for me between like positive and negative experiences. So it's just, it's something, it's something. So naturally my Tumblr phase went right into my Visco girl phase. I don't know what 
I thought I was doing here. Also at this time, I kid you not, if there was a bracelet or a wristband or something, it was staying on my wrist. I like down there, you can see like at the bottom, that's a wristband that I probably got from some event. And I was like, I'm, I'm leaving this on my wrist because this is, this is so visco. Scrunchies? Yes. Uh, being tan? Yes. Trying to be a surfer girl in Kentucky? Yes. We don't claim her. If anybody showed me that picture, I would literally deny that that was me. I'd say, no, this is actually not me. Um, thank you though for asking. Um, freshman year of high school, I entered my preppy phase. I think it had a lot to do with my relationship at the time. Um, I was loving Vineyard Vines and uh, Lily Blitzer. This is one of those phases where I look back and I'm like, okay, yeah, you, you might be from Kentucky because this is just like so Southern. Um, we honestly, we don't claim her either. Guys, I promise these get better. Um, right after my preppy phase, we went into my country phase. It only makes sense. I have never in my life, even in my younger years, have I been on the Republican side of politics. But here, I look like I want to be. I literally don't claim her. I would never, ever wear an outfit like that again, unless if it was a joke. Then we start cleaning up my act. This is my Brockhampton phase. Honestly, this was a cute phase. That was one of those music groups that I had an obsession and it became my personality. Kind of cute, kind of like it. Um, don't really listen to Brockhampton that much anymore, but I can respect it. It's good. Following that, we enter GSA era. GSA stands for Governor's School for the Arts, and there was one in Kentucky, and I got accepted to go as a musical theater major, and it was probably the best couple of weeks of my high school experience, honestly. Um, I met so many beautiful people during this time, and I literally, I don't have a bad thing to say about it. I was obsessed with GSA. I did actually make it my whole personality after I came back, because literally all I would talk about was GSA. My friends were getting so annoyed with me because I'd be like, at GSA, we did this. Oh, well, when I was at GSA, um, well, I also, I went to GSA. <laughs> you guys didn't know. Um, yeah, back when I was at GSA. But it was cute. I was happy. And I was proud of myself for getting accepted. <laughs> this was my first ever breakup. I was heartbroken. I was trying to flex. I didn't know how. So half the time I ended up just embarrassing myself in public. Um, I made this entire costume myself. I also trimmed the bangs myself. This phase speaks for itself. Here we have my first blonde phase. I was so pumped for this and I am forever apologizing to the hairstylist that had to deal with me on this day. I walked in complete brunette. I said, no, I wanna be like platinum blonde. And he was like, oh, well that's not gonna happen, but we can start the process. So in this scenario, I was like, no, he's just, he's just saying that I'm going to end up being blonde. Honestly, I am pretty blonde here, but I really should have thought this through before I did this. I, I was kind of cute here though. I was excited to try something new and it was a fresh look. So, I mean, it's not, it's not all bad. It's just, I would actually never do it again. Um, so we're going to say it's something, it's something. This phase right here, I don't know why this is the only picture that I have from this phase, but I had to put it in here because this is just like the prime example of the things that I do in my life. This phase was right after I had watched The Dirt on Netflix. It had come out and I was obsessed with it. I was rewatching it like every single day. All I was listening to was Motley Crue and I had just completely like immersed myself into this, this movie and I decided that I actually would not accept any boyfriend unless if they were a rock star, like a full on rock star, like Nikki Six. Like that's, that's what I wanted. I, I didn't want anybody else unless if they were a rock star. I was like trying to seek them out. This is the photo that best shows this phase. It's honestly, it's atrocious, but I'm going to say girl, no, looking back on it because it's just, it's kind of embarrassing. Then we enter my EDM phase. Honestly, I really liked this phase and I still listen to a lot of EDM. Um, but this was when me and my friends went to Bonnaroo that summer and the majority of my time at the EDM phase, I would go there by myself too and just like stand and like at a distance from the crowd and just listen to the EDM. And following that phase, I kid you not, it was like all I was listening. I can't appreciate this phase because it was fun. 
And honestly, the rave EDM lovers, they're really cool people. So I appreciate this phase. It's good. I like it. After the summer of me being obsessed with EDM, I started college and entered my sorority girl SEC party school phase. This didn't last very long. I was having fun and I met a lot of really awesome people at that school, but the second that COVID hit, I transferred and dropped my sorority and I was out. No hate to anybody who participates in Greek life. It's just personally not for me. I'm going to say it's something because I do look happy in the photo and I experienced good things for a period of time. Um, but then I just kind of, I don't know. It, it wasn't for me. And that that's fine. This phase is really interesting because this is right when COVID hit. And this is my whipped coffee phase. The chokehold that this drink had on me is absurd. I saw it on TikTok and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to make that. No, it turns out I made it every single morning for about three months. And it's like a sweet coffee. Like it's like full of sugar, like not just like your average coffee. It also takes like 15 minutes to like whip it up. But every single morning I was like, yes, whipped coffee. And this little phase of mine was also with my Animal Crossing phase. So it was like I would wake up, go downstairs, make my whipped coffee, sit on the couch. I was playing Animal Crossing while my stepdad was playing Breath of the Wild. And it was just like this whole era. I haven't had it since. I haven't had it since COVID because I think I wore myself out on it, but maybe I'll try it again soon in the future. I think it's good. It's good. Later into our COVID journeys, I entered my yoga girl, crystal girl, tarot cards, spiritual phase. This kind of aesthetic was trending on TikTok. I mean, I was spending a lot of my time watching TikToks as was everybody else during COVID. It was, it was a cute phase. I'm going to put it out. It's good. It was a nice little time. After COVID, I had transferred schools and I was now going to school in Kentucky and I entered my Depop seller phase. And this was kind of a cute phase of mine just because I was a girl boss. I was over here just like thrifting clothes, revamping them, reselling them, just like making my bag. It was kind of nice. I was working at a coffee shop during this time. This was also the time when I had gotten Casper. So I felt like there was a lot of different things that were happening in my life that were positive. I also got my nose ring during this time, which I no longer have, obviously. She was kind of killing it during this time. The only thing that I will say is that my hair is god awful. I mean, she was in her bag. She was a moneymaker. I, I respect it. It's good. It's good. Then we have the first time I dyed my hair black, which honestly was a phase. The first time I dyed my hair black, I didn't like stick with it. Clearly I came back to it later in my life, but I felt like a bad, I had never had my hair this dark in my life. So like I got my hair done and it was like, it was a game changer. I was like, yep, I'm unstoppable. This phase also clearly had an impact on how I have my hair now. So mm, it's good. It's good. That winter 2021, we have no way home phase, which honestly, this isn't really much of a phase just because I had loved Spider-Man my whole life and I still obviously love Spider-Man and talk about Spider-Man now, but it was the period in which I was posting about this movie and my love for Spider-Man on TikTok because I started posting about Spider-Man on TikTok and I started getting a following which was crazy. And now I'm, now I'm here. It's crazy how much my life has changed simply because of this movie and talking about my love for this movie. And I could not be more grateful. The experience that I had in the movie theater watching this, it was just, it was an unmatched era. It was so cute. I slay. Here is my fashion magazine era. If you guys didn't know before, diving into social media and stuff like that I was actually getting my degree in graphic design so this is when I was working for my school's fashion and lifestyle magazine which that was really cool just because I was with a lot of creative people day in day out and I felt like we were creating really cool stuff yeah I mean I I still like graphic design I consider it to be more of like a hobby now rather than the path that I want to follow for my career but I mean it was cute I, I enjoyed it. It was, it was good. It was good. 
getting into my more recent phases, this is after I had just arrived to LA and I completely was in my cool girl phase. Um, this was also at the time that I did not know that I was going to be living in LA. I just was originally going to be here for two months and then I was going to go back home and finish my degree. But um, yeah, this was when I was obsessed with like going out to the clubs and I just wanted to be in the scene of LA. I'm going to say it's something though, just because I kind of got to LA and was running around like a chicken with its head cut off. But um, I don't know. I've changed a lot. I've changed a lot in the past, in the past eight months that I've been here. And that was when I first got here and really didn't know anything about anything here. Next, the phase that you all probably most likely found me from, unless if you were a Spider-Man OG, um, my cosplay phase, which I'm still kind of in because it's the content that I do sometimes um but this is like prime like really intense part of my cosplay phase this was when I was knocking out probably like two cosplays a week and it was fun obviously I'm still going to be doing cosplay in the future it's just I don't want to be like knocking out two cosplays a week or constantly revisiting old cosplays that I've done it's more along the lines of like oh I have a cosplay that I want to do I'm gonna do it you know rather than feeling that pressure to like always be coming up with new cosplays or making new content with old cosplays that I have but I do I do like this phase because it kind of really did put me where I'm at now so I am grateful for that. I have this picture from like two weeks ago because I'm not really in a phase right now I'm kind of just discovering where I want to go and I feel like I'm kind of in a healing phase right now because uh, this past year moving to LA like I've had crazy experiences that I would have never imagined were possible for me to experience but also at the same time I've been really low and I've been really insecure and struggling mentally um, just because it has been such a hard transition but I feel like now I'm kind of starting to see the other side of that hump and I'm really excited for it and honestly we're manifesting. It's a slay phase. It's gonna be it's gonna be this whole year and I'm excited for it. And there's a lot of exciting things that I have planned and I'm just I can't wait to see it all come together and be able to share it all with you guys. Um so with that being said, these are all of my phases. Um maybe you're like me and you go through a crap ton of phases all the time, but this is just funny for me to look back on because my friends used to always say like, oh yeah, you go through phases all the time. And I'm like, no, I don't. Yeah, I do. I do. And I'll admit to it. And it's fine. It's, it's human, maybe. Mm, maybe I take it up a notch more than the average human, but it's whatever. This video was really fun to do. Um, hopefully I can do some more things like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it so much if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also, you can turn on notifications so that you don't miss anything in the future. Uh, as always, I love you all. I'm so grateful for you all every single day and I hope that you all are doing well and that the rest of your week goes amazingly and I will see you soon.